I'm paying a lot more financially for the place where I'm living right now. And I'm paying in a lot of other ways, too. And I'm proud of this. There is no price that you can put on peace or privacy. The three biggest things that I value in my life is peace, privacy, and freedom. What's up, legends? It's your hostess with the mostest, Liberty v. Justice. There's no period in my V because my victories never end, and I'm here to help you get your victories, legends. You're worth it. And sharing is caring, so care for a friend. Text it to them right now, and you're also caring for me and yourself. So win, win, win. Text the show out right now to a friend. I don't have a lot of freedoms. Some people seem to think I do, but I don't have the financial freedom. So I have to take all of the discipline now. That's a price I pay. A lot of discipline. Health. The food I eat, disciplined in that. I'm disciplined in working out. I don't like to call it working out, but I do physically train my body twice a day. I run a lot. I also do a lot of stretching, yoga, and such, you know, and also physically, I carry a lot of stuff with me because I don't have electricity and I don't have water in my home or Wi Fi. So I have to carry my stuff to go on Wi Fi and charge my stuff, right? And I don't regret any of these prices that I'm paying. I don't regret not answering. Another price I pay is that I want to reach out and talk to people sometimes. Sometimes I feel lonely. But I don't reach out to talk to most people that I know currently because all I ever hear from them is excuses. Oh, sorry, Liberty. Victim talk. Sorry. Um, oh, I can't do it right now. I can't watch your free YouTube. I can't listen to your podcast. I can't support you in any way. Oh, and then they don't have the money because they're always too busy working. So I don't. <laughs> isn't that funny? But they don't have the money either. They don't have any time and no money either except time to complain and look to me when they have a huge problem that nobody else will listen to, right? <laughs> so I don't reach out to most people because they're such a victim mentality. They're not, I would say they're such victims, but they're not, they're not victims. They choose to feel and act and think like a victim. And because of that reason, they end up trying and never will succeed again for me to victimize other people. And and victims will play the victim with others who are playing the victim because that is what victims do. And then they blame the other victim for making them a victim when they were already a victim, you see? So I just don't have time for playing the victim because the villain is what they make me out to be when they don't get what they want. When in reality, I'm actually the superhero. You see, so I have absolutely no qualms over saying no, not answering phone calls, not answering texts. I do not answer any of my DMs on any of my platforms and most of my comments on TikTok because they are vile, terrible comments from terrible creatures who are victims and choose consciously to try to really hurt and bring down another soul like myself or any souls that they can. And because of that reason, I have to protect my peace. As I said, I have to protect my privacy, meaning that that's why I love living in this place, hot as it is, sweaty as I am right now, because I do have a lot more peace and privacy than I would anywhere else. So like at the last place I had, they had electricity, you know, and, but they also had a lot of victims and a lot of them would just, actually, they tried to physically harm me. Uh, they did physically harm me a few times. Um, the managers didn't do anything about it. So, you know, it's, that's just one thing, but you know what? I'm not a victim and I'm really, really grateful to be in this place with no electricity and no water because I traded my electricity and my water and it's the same price here but I had to spend more because now you got to buy more water 
you know, to bathe. My gym's way too far away and all of those things. So I spend money on a gym. I didn't have a gym then. That's only $10 now, but $10 it, less than what I had back then. But it's, it, I actually spend a lot more, but there is no price that I won't pay for my privacy and my peace. There is no price that I will not pay to achieve my dreams. What price are you willing to pay? Because there's no price I could put on my physical health, my physical safety, being hit by these people at this place that are on drugs, condoms being found on the ground daily, right? Not the ground, I'm sorry, the carpet, uh, screaming, being up late at night. I had fear that this guy was cooking meth in there. I still don't know what he was doing with all that weird stuff. And the, they called the police, you know, almost every day trying to get rid of him. He was doing weird stuff to the landlord and everybody else too. So it's like, and he wasn't the only one doing stuff. You know, I had something, I have like a mental scar from emotional scar from something somebody said to me in there, which I'm not going to repeat. You know, there is no price that I will not pay. And people should know this already because I slept on the concrete when I started my business and I started gaining some notoriety and some fame, quote unquote, on TikTok. And I gained money, which I now no longer have. TikTok no longer pays me. There's some type of a glitch, I guess, in the system. Um, they didn't demonetize me because I get like maybe three to six dollars a month most of the time. Uh, but I'm actually going harder than ever on TikTok now because it's a good source for advertising. It's free advertising for myself. It's very big. And I love the fact that I have 180 some thousand followers. And I love the fact that I can go live and do my music and I can meet people. And sometimes they give me money sometimes, you know, but it, they're giving it to TikTok mostly because I only get like, like if I get a dollar, they give it, if they spend a dollar on me, I get like 25 cents, right? And it takes a lot to get money. It Really, it just takes the right people to see you and you, they give you money and once they really appreciate you and they, because they want your attention. So once in a while, I get like $10, on a live stream, $50. I've had, one time I came away with 150 you know? But I love TikTok because I get the instant attention. I can get attention to my podcast, my YouTube channels, gotten more, you know, I get attention on all of my other platforms. And that's the biggest thing that started. And I started making money for my music on TikTok. But most importantly, it's about the community, just like I do this podcast to help people. There's no price that I will not pay in order to reach the mission that God put on my heart. This is not my mission. This is God's mission for my life. And my life conditions created my mission. God allowed me to go through rape, child molestation, uh, domestic violence with my ex, drugs, clean and sober 14 years. It'll be 15 in December. You know, no sex for 13 years. You know, quitting, quitting smoking cigarettes, what? 16, 15, 16 years ago, I quit cigarettes, lost 250 pounds, and a few years later got cancer and had no hair and couldn't walk in a wheelchair. Now I take no drugs at all, no psychotropic drugs, medicines, whatever you want to call it. I don't go to drug dealers, oh, excuse me, pharmacists and doctors who quote unquote care when they don't actually give a crap. They want money and that's it. Most of them, some do care, most don't. I've had a lot of bad experiences there, but there is no price that I won't pay to actually help you heal the way I have. And that's my mission, to help you heal mentally, emotionally, socially, spiritually, physically, and financially, yes. But I'm paying all those prices right now. With the self-discipline, I get the privacy. I pay for it financially. No water, no fridge, no stove, no electricity, you know, and food goes bad quick. But you know what? I'm worth it, and I put the good food in my body because I need to be here and have that energy to be able to produce for you. So if you enjoyed this, do me a favor, send me a, me uh, send me, uh, if you enjoyed this, share this with a friend or do a short review, two, three sentences. That's fine. Tell people why they should listen to Rhythm for Revenue by I'm Worth It Incorporated. You're worth it. And I appreciate you. My name is Liberty V Justice. There's no period in my V because my victories never end. And I'm here to help you get your victories, legends. You're worth it.